What's one way you can better support sex workers? I'm here with Carrie Hill from Empowered Sex EmpoweringSexuality.ch, um, and I'm Kathy Virtually from the IntimacyDojo.com. Um, Carrie, how can we better support sex workers? What's one way we can do that? Well, the most effective way that we can really help is to begin listening and listening seriously. Um, sex workers rights and their ability to have their own autonomy and really be taken seriously is an ongoing discussion that's only increasing now but quite often at least what i'm noticing in the media is that um, certain terms are being used that aren't what they mean when they say so for instance um there are some politicians that are talking about decriminalization yeah. of sex work so that you know it can be more accessible and sex workers are allowed to do their jobs as jobs right. but what they mean is not decriminalization it's something else entirely um that's something that i'll be talking about in my talk um but really it's about being critical so you know paying attention hearing what people are saying and then perhaps asking sex workers hey you know what does this mean is this true can you tell me more and even just doing your own research yeah. um and then confirming it with sex workers can be helpful um the twitter community just to plug this a little bit it is really phenomenal um there's a sex work twitter um that we use that we can you know that we have meaningful discussions with and ask answer questions from people who are questioning um the problem is is quite often there's not an open ear yeah. to the information that we're giving and that's really a hindrance to us moving forward yeah uh, i i love that yeah. you're talking about that for the for the twitter is it at sex work or what is the twitter handle? no if, oh. if you just use hashtags um you it, you can find what you need really okay. i i won't give them all just because i want to protect the sex work community yeah, absolutely. If, but you know if you if you do your own work you're definitely going to find someone it's not like it's a big secret yeah Okay. And you're yeah. going to be at ConvergeCon this year talking about sex workers' rights as peak feminism, how to mm -hmm. be an effective ally. Mm -hmm. And I think it's such a, it's a really powerful topic because it does seem like people, they're trying to support, but sometimes they can get in the way. Like even yeah. politicians or friends or they mean well, mm -hmm. but they're like stepping on toes yeah. or. People are incredibly well-meaning when they speak about sex work in a positive way. Um, the challenge right now is that terms are being thrown around that people don't necessarily always know the full meaning to, and they can often be um, conflated with other language, which actually is more harmful than it really should be. So for us, a, a big challenge is, you know, disambiguating those terms to make sure that people, when they hear something, they know what it's meant to be yeah. versus what say politicians use it as in their intentions so many politicians twist words and yeah meanings. sex work is incredibly politicized it is a political discussion and it's something that affects our daily lives right so it's it's really important to know what is being said and knowing how to disambiguate things that don't necessarily appear clear on the surface yeah no i really love that just listening and and, and asking when you and do your mm -hmm. research, those are really powerful things. That... Yeah. If I can actually add one more thing to that, it's sure. when when people are asking questions um, that you may know the answer to. One of a really effective way of being helpful is if you know a sex worker who also knows the answer, don't speak for them. Open up the platform and invite them to speak. You know, sex workers have a voice too, and it's really important that we're heard and not just the people who think they know as much as as sex workers do. Right. Yeah. So. It's just well, as critical for us to be able to say something and be affirmed by people who are allies yes. than allies speaking for us and then, you know, sex workers are still in the dark. Right. I have a lot of friends who are sex workers and I deeply admire the courage and generosity and I've never walked in their in their shoes. So while mm -hmm. I may know some of the answers, I certainly don't know all the nuances. So I, I really yeah, appreciate it. They're pretty that. incredible community. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's I'm really touched that you're talking about it because I think that that's really important for people to hear. Yeah, thank you. ConvergeCon actually inspired this talk. Last year when ConvergeCon was held, um, it, a week before FOSTA SESTA had just been passed. And so when we, well, at least when I got there, I got to meet a lot of really angry sex workers because we we're all like, oh no, this passed the house. What are yeah. we going to do? And it really inspired this talk. So I'm very privileged and honored to be presenting it this year. It's been a year of development and I'm very happy of, of where it's come. Yeah, for anyone mm -hmm. who's listening that's not familiar, SESTA-FOSTA are uh, some laws that were passed that 
uh, took away a lot of the advantage, a lot of the ways that people communicated. Um, I should let you define, like, I, I, I'm aware of the laws, but you're actually affected by them. Yeah, um, FOSTA stands for um, Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act, and then SESTA stops, uh, is um, Stop Enabling Sex Trafficking Act, right? So it sounds really innocuous and very beneficial, yeah, but of course we want to stop trafficking. Uh, that have arisen as a result of it are um, hosts are now responsible as opposed to the users for any content, like adult content that's produced that's considered, you know pornographic or exploitative and the the language that's used in those bills is very vague so it could be anything and because even though it's u.s based it's being felt globally yeah. like websites have been shut down left right and center um payment methods are now cutting off access for sex workers to be able to use them um blacklists have been shut down that are really crucial to sex workers health and safety yeah. You know, the, the list really just goes on and on. There's so much, you know, screening isn't there anymore. And it's even stretching outside of the bounds of sex work. Even sex educators have been affected. Yeah, we've You know, been, YouTube we've accounts been... have been shut down and, yeah. and yeah, and quite arbitrarily, no options of appeal or saying, you know, hey, I'm teaching about, you know, self-aware sexual education. This yeah. isn't pornography. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very difficult and complicated and it's, caused quite a lot of harm to sex workers yes. um there have been people who have been confirmed dead because of it unfortunately as a direct result it's it's nothing to be it's nothing to trifle with no no it's it i the maybe the intent was good but the way it's been like the the providers like GoDaddy or whatever they don't know how to tell the difference necessarily and don't even want to try to tell the difference between trafficking and and sex work or anything sexual yeah. and just shutting it down so yeah the sex work community would say that sesta fossa has actually driven sex workers into the arms of their exploiters so that really is the long and short of the result of it at this point well well i i um thank you for being someone who speaks up about this and something so important no um, thank you yeah I, look, I really look forward to hearing your talk at convergecon um yeah let's hope i have time to say everything yeah. Well, if if not, and if you ever like to come back and and talk some more, I'd be glad to to help help you. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. I would love. And if you're watching this and you have comments and questions, please leave them below. I'll see if Carrie is available to come back on video and answer them with us. So thank you, Carrie. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure.